interesting sedimentary features that you may come across include the following. Mud cracks. You can see mud cracks in places that have fine sediments, especially after it rains. Similarly, a popcorn texture results from the interaction of water on fine sediments like ashes and muds, common in places like the South Dakota Badlands, as well as those Mesozoic sediments in the mudstones of the Morrison and Mancus formations in Utah. Another feature you might see are ripple marks, the result of wind or water moving sediments around and leaving these interesting snake-like patterns. You can see these in modern environments as well as recorded in the rock record, and it tells us something about the medium that moved it as well as the directionality. If you ever see successive layers at angles like this, you're probably looking at what's known as cross bedding. And this tells us that this material, these sand grains, were moved by wind and deposited in something like ancient sand dunes. In addition to mineral crystallization and fossils, you can also see dark markings in sedimentary rocks like this, which are iron concretions. Then there are those odd fins, arches, and balanced rocks, the stars of many of Utah's national parks. These are simply the result of differential weathering.